Much anticipated opening of Goodman Stadium at La Mirada High School. We are beyond excited to finally be back on our own home field. To start us off, we are going to have our ASB president, Ms. Sofia Orozco, who will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Sorry for the late start, guys. You only missed the part where he said hello to everybody. It's just a few seconds. Sorry about that. Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you so much, Sophia. Uh, we have a number of distinguished guests who are here with us today, and I'm going to go through and quickly introduce all of them. First of all, our board president, Mr. Jose Rios. Board member, Ms. Mrs. Karen Morrison. Board member, Mr. Chris Staples. Board member, Mrs. Norma Amesqua and board member, Dr. Lorena Vidal. And board member, sorry, uh, Narcissus Bradshaw. Also, I'd like to recognize our superintendent, Dr. John Lopez. And also on our superintendent's executive cabinet, uh, assistant superintendent of business services, Mr. Estuardo Estuardo. Santiago, sorry. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services Elementary, Dr. Christine Sabar. <laughs> Assistant Superintendent of Educational Services Secondary, Dr. Jessica Medrano. <laughs> Our new Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Andrew Retz. From Assemblymember 64th District, Blanca Pacheco's office, we have Catalina Valera, field representative. From the City of La Mirada, we have our Mayor, John Lewis. Councilmember, Anthony Otero. City Manager, Jeff Boynton. <laughs> And then I would also like to introduce my own staff, uh, my own administrative staff, uh, Assistant Principal Jackie Lucero, <laughs> Assistant Principal Janice Krupa, and Assistant Principal Javier Gonzalez. And then if you work here at La Mirada High School, I know a lot of you guys are here, would you please stand and just wave and give everybody a little shout out? Let's thank them all very much for being here. At this time, I will hand it over to Dr. John Lopez for a few words. Thank you, Principal Webster. I have other, a couple other introductions. We have two former board members here. To my left, your right, Chris Flanger. Please stand and join us to see you this afternoon. And to my right, over there, Jesse Arpiti, for a former board member, Mr. Arpiti. And I did get permission for the following statement, but did you already like our first competition, Narciss Brassoff, board member running on the track, single event, entered and won, so thank you for displaying that. But welcome La Mirada High School students, staff, and community, and speaking of students, let's give it up to our band, to my left, to our cheerleaders to the right, thank you so much. Well, we made it. We've reached the end of the rainbow, and here we are at this grand opening of our brand new state-of-the-art Goodman Stadium. Are we excited? I'm excited. There's been a buzz throughout the campus and community. This facility is going to be a game changer, both literally and figuratively. But before we dive into the incredible features of our new stadium, I want to take a moment to recognize the instrumental individuals that made this vision a reality. First, a massive thank you to the, our Board of Education for the unwavering commitment to our campuses throughout the district. Thank you for making this possible. <laughs> to our wonderful Norwalk La Mirada community, 
You believed in Measure G and made it happen. This stadium is the 10th completed project funded by Measure G with more incredible projects in the works. A special thank you goes to our powerhouse team whose expertise brought this project to fruition. Starting with, and you've already, he was introduced earlier, but Assistant Superintendent of Business Services, Estuardo Santillan. Our Facilities Director, Edith Florence. Edith, where are you? There you go. Amazing, excellent, we're lucky to have you. Fantastic. And her partner also, our coordinator, Bomi Yin. Yun, excuse me, Bomi. There, right there. To our stellar project team from NAC Architecture, Environmental Construction, and Cummings Construction, thank you. And to the La Mirada High School community, Principal Ben Webster, Athletic Director Christine Mead, students, staff, and parents, thank you for your patience and your support. We really appreciate it all these years that it takes to have this come, like I said, to fruition. Collectively, everyone's leadership and collaboration was essential for overcoming every obstacle that we faced to create this top-notch stadium. This stadium will serve La Mirada for years to come. Now, let me share a few of the highlights about the stadium. We have a new synthetic turf and track that will make our athletes feel like they're running on clouds, and you saw that a little bit earlier. <laughs> Lighting so bright that it'll be like playing underneath the stars. Home and visitor bleachers ensuring everyone has a great seat. Facilities for both visitor, both home and visitor side with new concessions and restrooms and team rooms. An amazing ticket booth that we could get people in and out quickly, but more in. A press box to hide all of our special events and a new scoreboard to celebrate all our victories. This stadium is more than just a place for sports. It's a beacon for the entire community where we'll cherish the memories it will be creating. I'm certain we cannot wait to celebrate Matador victories. Is that correct? Right, Max? Yeah. Graduations and other events. And do know, this year's class of 2024 will be the first class to graduate from this stadium in two weeks. Yes. Congratulations, yes. This future, the future is incredibly bright in La Mirada, and this stadium, stadium is a shining example of that in our commitment to providing a first class experience to our students and community. Thank you for joining us today. Your presence is, and support is greatly appreciated. Now I'd like to introduce our board president, Mr. Rios, who's gonna share a few remarks. Thank you once again. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you, John, for the introduction. I happen to go back and just go back to a little story. Right? He mentioned Major G, 2014. I want to thank the voters from both communities for passing that bond in 2014. That's the result of these fields. I would be remiss to see some of our board, board members who were there during that time who are here today, and some of the ones that are sitting down there that were here back then. It's the commitment that we do, the commitment that we appreciate for our community, for our students. They're our future. So welcome home, right, to this stadium, which is a Matador's home, home right? Congratulations, it's done, it's, it's due. We want to see the matches that they have. It was built according to CIA standards to make sure that when we qualify, there's games here. So I just want to congratulate everyone, all the stakeholders in the city of La Mirada for this great stadium and supporting your kids through everything they do, our students who are the futures, who will be here making decisions when we're gone. And who knows, maybe by that time, renewing a new stadium, doing something new, creating, who knows, a new, New school, right? We don't know, but those are our kids. They're our future. And anything we can do for them today, they will step up and do better than we do then. So congratulations, Matadors. Enjoy your stadium. 
And let's see the first class graduate in a couple of weeks. Just remember there was four classes before you that had to go graduate somewhere else. So it's a privilege to be here at your own home. And let's go Matadors. Thank you, Mr. Rios. Uh, there are a lot of people who made this project possible and it would be difficult to really name everyone. But there are a few groups who deserve some recognition today for how they work to accommodate our students, coaches, and teams while waiting for the completion of the stadium. I first would like to recognize Mrs. Reed, the previous principal. I know how much work it is to manage a project while it's happening. It is just as much work getting it off the ground. Thank you to Bomi, Edith, Keith, and their team for keeping this project moving in spite of record rain and delays. Thank you to our student athletes and coaches who showed grit and determination while practicing off campus. Thank you to our parents and our fans who traveled, who had to travel for home games. Thank you to Eloisa, Carlos, and Raul for helping with all of the busing and last minute changes. Thank you to our bus drivers who safely moved kids around and had to put up with smelly athletes after practice every day. Thank you to the staffs at Norwalk and John Glenn for opening your facility to us. It was great to have a top tier facility to go to each day. Thank you to Sergio, Caesar, Jenny, Mike, Christine, Sienna, Carmen, who kept our kids safe no matter where we called home. Thank you to Gus, John, Paul, Robert, Jair, Jose, Mark, Juan for the extra duties at Glenn, Norwalk, and Benton. Thank you to our staff who came out to support our students all over town. Many of you still work the gates even though you were off campus. Thank you to my administrative team who left early and stayed late to make sure all of the events were covered. Thank you to Mark Del Pino who joined our athletic team, the director team this year to help cover all of our games. And, but of all the people there too, I think deserve the greatest amount of thanks. First of all, Michelle Lizaldi, who has gone above and beyond. She's gone above and beyond to create a home field advantage, even though we were miles away from our campus. Weekly events, homecoming, senior recognitions, were all set up to make sure kids had a great La Mirada High School experience. She de dragged decorations and balloons all over creation to keep our school spirit going. And a special thanks to Christine Mead. Over the past several years, she has coordinated thousands of practices and events at multiple sites. She has worked around COVID, rainouts, and endless changes to our schedule. Our athletic program would not be in such a good place without Christine's leadership and intense desire to make La Mirada High School, the best it could be every day. I can't believe I'm getting emotional about this. I, I told some kids, I told some kids that cry like two times a year, and this might be one of them. So, there you go. Thank you for coming out to open our beautiful new stadium. We look forward to many years of continued success at Goodman Stadium at La Mirada High School. Go Mets! And with that, we are going to move over, over here and we are going to cut the ribbon and display the new plaque that will open up the stadium. So just bear with us.
The original La Mirada Stadium was built in 1973. Uh, La Mirada, I believe, opened up in, uh, what was it, 1962. Uh, they played at Excelsior Stadium for the first four or five years in 1966. Uh, they had, uh, they went to the school district to get their own stadium. Uh, that went on for a couple of years. District had no money in 1968. They developed a, um, I want to say Ralph, what was his last name? Evans? Might not be Evans, Ralph something. Uh, they formed a stadium uh, committee in uh, 1968. Again, we're live here, well, not live, recording this live here at the new Goodman Stadium. Um, and today was the uh, dedication ceremony, the grand opening. But in 1968, they did the stadium. Uh, they formed a stadium commission, and it wasn't until 1972, four years later, when the stadium finally got built. Uh, actually, it was, it was 1972 until when something finally happened, uh, to where from the time they formed the commission in 68, and then 1973, uh, was the stadium was completed. So it took about four years. And what happened at that time and when they formed the stadium uh, committee in 1968 is that they, uh, they went to the voters for a, I believe it was a $5 tax, property tax on every $20,000, for every $20,000 your home was evaluated for. So essentially, the La Mirada... All right, everybody. Uh, uh, we got a few more pictures the, we're going to take down here. Pay for the new we have cookies and water on your way out. Enjoy the atmosphere. Now, that concludes our opening ceremony. Please have a wonderful safe drive. Graduation back here next week on Wednesday, 7 o'clock. So, as I was saying, in, in 1973, the stadium was completed, and um, it remained La Mirada Stadium until about 1992. That's when there was a proposal of, uh, uh, that turned into a bit of a controversy to name it Goodman Stadium after Arville Goodman, who was a longtime coach, uh, administrator, uh, well, I don't know about administrator, longtime coach, volunteer here at La Mirada High School for many 34 years, 40 years, whatever it was, and and here's a who's who of La Mirada now, folks. So there's Ann Harrickson, she's the assistant city manager. Chris Flanzer, I don't recognize that lady there. Um, there's Matador, mascot hugging Anthony Otero, manager, uh, Mayor John Lewis. There's Ray Fernandez with new coach Lucas Mealy with uh, Richard Trujillo. Looks like Lauren Kopf is right behind them. Tammy McDuff is right there. Chris Staples, Narcisse Rossoff. Um, Jose Rios, Armando Rivas, the photographer, uh, Jorge Orozco, Harry Scott, Steve Jones, his wife. Um, why is his wife's name escaping me right now? Janice. Janice is here. Uh, Michelle Lizaldi, uh, Kathy Alvarez, Mary Cypress, city manager Jeff Boynton. So anyways, as I was saying before we sign off, guys, uh, the stadium was completed in 1973. And, uh, let's go and in 1992, was renamed Goodman Stadium. Uh, that was a bit of a controversy because apparently the, uh, the school district went to changing the name of the, to Goodman Stadium without getting the permission of the La Mirada residents. So that was a bit of a controversy. Uh, if you look back, uh, you can Google that. It was a 1992 Los Angeles Times article. I'm going to repost that soon, but... That was a bit of a controversy, uh, but it remained Goodman Stadium, um, even though some people were against it. And then this new stadium is also going to be named Goodman Stadium. So that's all we have for you. Look forward to a, a fantastic uh, football season coming up in August here. Like uh, the principal said, a graduation should be happening here in a couple weeks. First time in three or four years where the graduating class will be able to actually stand at their own stadium. So, guys, we were glad we were able to bring this to you. Uh, who else is walking up that I'm just now knowing? Chris Staples, did I mention him? Karen Morrison, her husband, Alan Morrison. Uh, all right, guys. 
Have a great rest of your afternoon, evening, or morning, whatever it happens to be. We will talk to you next time. Tony Aiello, Lama de Blah.